My guest at this time stars in the upcoming action thriller Unchained. She can also be seen every Tuesday night as part of WWE NXT. It's Taya Valkyrie, a.k.a. Frankie Monet. Uh, Taya, Frankie, I don't know what to call you anymore. Thank you very much for the time to chat today. Uh, thank you for having me. I'm excited to be here. So uh, before we talk like some wrestling stuff, uh, talk to me about this movie, Unchained. How did you get involved with this movie? Well, I was approached by the director, Raffaello. Uh, he sent me the script and thought that I was really good for this part of Regina. I read it. I thought it was really fun, really different than anything I'd ever done before. Uh, and I wanted to give it a try. And we filmed this in the fall of 2019. It was supposed to come out last year, but obviously the world decided to do otherwise. <laughs> So we've waited a long time for this, but I'm excited for everyone to see it. And it finally comes out July 2nd on Amazon Prime. So I read the description of this movie. I watched the trailer. Um, dark, right? It's like about a bunch of women who are kidnapped and forced to fight for their lives in some kind of underground fight club. Fight club. <laughs> yes, right? okay. exactly. Okay. And I play I play a villain who is, you know, a huge part of them ending up in this fight club. Uh, and I won't try to spoil anything for you. So I really, because I really want everyone to see it. But it was really different than any character I've ever played before. She was very stripped down. There was no glamour. It was all, you know, fighting and dirt and all the kind of gnarly stuff you expect in a fighting, you know, thriller action movie. And, you know, I'm excited to be part of something that has a woman as the lead. There are lots of women, stunt women even um, in this film. And I was excited to be part of that. How was it? Because, yeah, I didn't know if you were going to be fighting or not. It looked like you were one of the bad guys. Um, yeah. <laughs> so, so it, it sounds like there is going to be some action. How was doing the fight scenes for this one for you? Um, I was, my character was mostly just art, like, I basically was the one that was making them fight. So I don't have a lot of, you know, actual action scenes, but uh, all the fight scenes that I was part of, uh, you know, were super intense. I'm really proud of all the women that really like, they, some of them had never had any experience doing something like this before. And they really all went all out to, to make sure that everything looked, you know, believable and exciting and, you know, as thrilling as it can be with the concept of this film. And it's just going to be, you know, I'm excited to see what people think since it is such a different version of Taya and now Frankie that you see, you know, regularly on your Tuesday nights. So you look, you look, you look like a stone cold killer in the trailer. I mean, <laughs> like, <I'll be> yeah. <laughs> Do you, do you enjoy getting to just be like a badass, like bad person like that? Is that fun for you to get to take on these kinds of roles? Absolutely. Who doesn't want to be a bad guy? With every good guy, you need a crazy bad guy, right? Like that's there's always got to be a villain to to have a to have you know the hero. And throughout my career, I've played a lot of of, of villains, and but this one was completely different. Um, and so it was really interesting to 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 you know study who Regina was and how I felt that she should look or how I felt like she should speak and and carry herself. And I'm just very thankful that the director Raffaello you know entrust trusted me and saw something in me to be able to take on this part and. Uh, you know, he kind of let me run with it. And uh, yeah, it's it was a very interesting creative process, different from some other things that I've done in the past. So. So and I know that you and your husband, John, both uh, have done Hollywood things. Uh, Boone, Bounty Hunter, still one of my favorite movies. <laughs> of all time. I have the poster on my wall. Right. Uh, so uh, uh, will you be able to continue to do these kind of outside acting projects now that you're with WWE? Or is this the last we're going to see project wise for a while? For you. Well, I still have, I actually have some things that are still coming out. John and I, I'm not sure if you knew this, we wrote uh, a horror short three years ago. Um, it's finally in its final stages of post-production. Hopefully it will be out for all the horror film festivals in the fall. He directed it. I produced it. We both wrote it together. It's got tons of people that you will recognize within the movie. And it was a really fun, uh, you know, passion project that we did together. And hopefully I do get to continue doing projects like this. You know, we cross that bridge when we come to it. I am, I just love performing and trying all these different kinds of art forms and expanding myself as an artist and continuing to learn. And I feel like when you're in front of the camera being kind of put in these different situations is the best opportunity to learn and to, to evolve. And, you know, I, as an artist, that's super important to me. So I, I hope that I can continue to do stuff like this. Okay.